Hey everyone, Cos here with Cosmic Arts. Uh, thank you for tuning in to another uh, video that I actually want to uh, discuss with you guys. Okay, so Tokyo Game Show is going on right now, of course, in Tokyo, Japan. And they have some really interesting uh, things going on there. And I, I would definitely say that some of them are interesting, as I just said. Uh, some of them I'm a little bit worried about, but my main thing of what I want to talk about right now is Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake. <laughs> it's, um, I, I gotta say, it looks incredible. Uh, the new trailer that they just dropped this morning, I was not expecting a new trailer from them uh, right then and there, but I guess this is getting a little bit closer to the time of release for the Final Fantasy VII Remake. Uh, it makes a lot of sense for them to actually have a new uh, trailer to be released. So, uh, right now, uh, I'm actually over here just working on my own fan art of Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake. And this is something that I actually plan to have done before a convention. But, yes, this is exactly what it's looking like right now. And, of course, this is something that I really decided to take my time with to be able to get it done. Because I didn't want it to be done super fast of course yes I do have a day job that I have to attend to and I have other chores that I need to take care of but for the past two months yes I have been working on just specifically this fan art I did take a little bit of break in it because of the fact that I do have to do other things but still I went ahead and started on this fan art to have it be in relief I mean to be done ahead of time so that way when the next convention gets here I can actually have copies of this to be able to sell to people that actually want to buy this. And <laughs> so I'm just going to go ahead and talk about my uh, impressions on what I think about the game so far. Oh, wait, never mind. I thought somebody was actually trying to get in contact with me. <laughs> so my impressions on the game right now is uh, very high. I'm, I'm really impressed with what they're doing. I'm very... Uh, intrigued on how well uh, polished the graphics are, the characters. Each character actually looked really good, especially with what they just did with the Turks. Uh, so you've got Reno, Rude, and of course uh, Sane that actually make an appearance in a, a new trailer that just dropped. Um, we're not going to see Yuffie or Vincent. There may be speculations of them talking about Vincent, uh, here and there since it is a remake because they're more in depth than what they've done with the original Final Fantasy 7 and I've been a fan of Final Fantasy uh, since uh, Final Fantasy 7 itself uh, when it was first released which was back in like 1997 and the the big differences of what I'm actually seeing between both the uh, remake and the original is that is really they're really outdoing themselves uh, just like Capcom did with Resident Evil 2 and I've been a big fan of Resident Evil since Resident Evil 2 uh, just like Resident Evil 2 was the very first Resident Evil game to get me into the Resident Evil franchise Final Fantasy 7 was the very first Final Fantasy game to get me into Final Fantasy itself and I uh, just want to say that Final Fantasy 7 isn't just my only favorite Final Fantasy game but there's also nine and tactics, and uh, some people didn't really like 15. I thought 15 was actually good. Uh, it was pretty decent. Uh, there were some flaws with it, but they got better over time with the DLC content and the other uh, attachments that they actually put on it to make it exactly like how it's supposed to be. So the things that you see that that you or probably have seen in uh, Final Fantasy 15, they're actually putting those features in Final Fantasy 7 Remake, which is super awesome, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's actually going to uh, be well executed when the game is released itself. Now, don't get me wrong. Yes, I'm expecting there to be some flaws with Final Fantasy 7 Remake, I'm expecting there to be some flaws, but actually, yes, I did see some flaws in certain areas that I felt like that could have been improved. Uh, for one, uh, 
I would definitely say that I would have really have liked for it to have still been turn based. But I also have to remember that times have changed, gameplay has changed for many things, and this is called remake for a reason. Now, the one thing I will definitely say that I did enjoy that they still included in there is tactical mode. But of course, you got introduced to that in Final Fantasy XV, the way they introduced it in that one. And of course, uh, you can actually switch characters, which is super amazing. So that's still there's still something there that they really made up for that. But me, I'm a little bit old school, so the turn pay, the, well, I'm sorry, the turn base uh, feature is what I really would have loved to have seen, and just actually flow with that. Uh, but still, uh, the fact that you can actually just kind of whip up something on the fly, I think that that's pretty cool uh, for those that have made that may have never played any Final Fantasy game and actually want to try to get into some Final Fantasy, uh, I definitely highly recommend that you guys uh, get a chance to check out the original 7 first. Uh, if, that's if you really want to before you actually play Final Fantasy 7 Remake. And just want to actually say another uh, thing that I actually noticed is that I think they changed up the voice actor for Cloud. I know that the original voice actor for Cloud was Steve Burton, and he he has some okay uh, things about him because it, uh, one thing that we have noticed about Cloud is that Cloud is supposedly have had like a bit of a dry personality in the original Seven, but the thing is is that um, he didn't necessarily start off with a dry personality because he started off with a personality of Zach Fair, and then when he actually came to the realization of remembering who he was, then that's when we got the real cloud of where he was very uh, depressed and he was dealing with a lot of um, his own inner enemy that he needed to just take care of. And it really, um, that really added to the character of what to expect when you saw Advent Children. And Advent Children really... Uh, really like kind of displayed like how a lot of characters were some characters did sound a little too dry I did go back and watch Advent Children uh, complete not too long ago and I realized that almost every character did sound very dry um Aerith I'm really loving what they've done with her they even like uh, show what she would look like in the red dress when it gets to the part with Don Corneo in the uh, Final Fantasy uh, 7 game. And I gotta say, uh, she looks absolutely stunning. Tifa looks absolutely gorgeous. I really love uh, the um, facial features that they've done with her. Her voice acting is definitely there. Um, Still kind of worry about like some parts of it like certain lines. I felt like that they probably just did not uh, get a chance to execute very well uh, however uh, One voice acting I'm still kind of curious about of uh, whether they actually include it or not and His voice does sound exactly like who I think it is, but I'm really hoping that Quentin Flynn uh, was the main one that they really brought back to play uh Reno from the Turks. Uh, Reno is by far like the funniest character. Of course, there is Rude, but Rude was more of like the type of where he was very settled. He wasn't really trying to actually be a playful type, and he's more of that serious kind of a Turk member. That's one thing I really t uh, take up about Rude. Uh, of course, uh, Tsung, Tsung was very mysterious. Tsung actually had motives, but Tsung also, also actually had to where he knew he needed to get the job done. That was just the way how things were. And he just felt like, I just work for Shira. I do what I'm told. But at the same time, I do have a little sentimental uh, uh, moral about what goes on in my surroundings. And that's one thing, that's what I do like about the Turks. Like, each Turk really have, like, their own personality. Uh, now, characters uh, that I'm actually looking forward to seeing um, again will be Red 13. Red 13 has not been shown in this trailer, 
But I'm getting the feeling that we're going to get at least one more trailer before Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake actually gets released next year in March. And I'm super stoked about that. I'm really super excited to see what Red 13 is going to look like. Uh, there's Red 13 right there on my fan art, of course. And <laughs> I really... I really hope that this game does well. Of course, it is just the first episode, for what I remember. And, yeah, I'm actually switching uh, things over here so that way I can actually get the colors I need. But I'm really, I'm really hoping that uh, the remake does do well, and it does do the game justice. You got Tessio Nomura, who has come back and decided to actually work on that project. Or maybe, or maybe uh, that... He was actually pulled from working on Kingdom Hearts three. No, no, sorry, that's my that's my mistake on information. He actually finished up Kingdom Hearts three to go ahead and work on the remake of Final Fantasy seven. But he was pulled from finishing Final Fantasy fifteen, and they left it to I forgot the other guy's name that had to finish it, and that's why Final Fantasy fifteen was at the point of where it was. That's why so many things changed on it, and that's why it didn't get some of the extra features until later on. But here, here is like some of the same team that worked on Final Fantasy XV may have actually uh, said some ideas to him or he went back and actually saw some of the features that they decided to add to XV and really just go ahead and include it uh, in the uh, game or like first day of release. And I'm pretty sure that when you first get the game, that's probably going to be, like, an update that you're going to have to require to, like, get some of the extra features that they added on. I'm pretty sure that that's going to happen because that's usually what the, the norm for, like, most games nowadays. Whereas, like, day one, you do have to have, like, some kind of update uh, patch to get it running very smoothly. And another info that I remember hearing about, and I'm hoping that this is misinformation that I've heard but at the same time, I can kind of believe it because this is supposed to be a huge, huge uh, Final Fantasy game. And I mean, for all of this to just be episode one, I can only imagine what's going to go on with either episode number two and episode number three, uh, possibly episode number four. And what the information that I got is that the game itself is going to be 100 gigabytes. That's a lot of gigs for it to be on the PlayStation 4 or... Actually, yeah, PlayStation 4 because I haven't really heard any um, ideas of it being released for the Xbox One or the Switch or possibly Steam. So there's still some information about it in the air of what's going to go on with Final Fantasy VII Remake. And I'm really... Uh, I'm really just super excited. Uh, like I said, I have noticed like some flaws... Of course, you guys might have noticed some flaws in there that I have not noticed quite just yet. But we shall definitely see exactly how well this game is going to actually perform when it's done and when it's actually released. Uh, actually, what's really funny is that I plan to get this uh, fan art release for uh, Mississippi Anime Fest, which is going to be next year on March uh, 7th, 2020. And... Sure enough, Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to be released that same week on the 3rd. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm expecting a lot of buzz of uh, to be uh, talking about this game specifically. Yes, of course, we're going to have like some voice actors there from anime, probably some from like, My Hero Academia. And uh, one of the things I really do hope is that we do get somebody from the Final Fantasy VII Remake game that's going to be here to actually voice, uh, that, that was actually a voice actor in the game, and to me, that would be, uh, like, very super, because a lot of people, or should I say, many of us uh, Final Fantasy fans know just how super popular this game really was, and this game really did set the revolutionary, um, or, well, sorry, the, uh, an extra evolution in, uh, gaming, because it was the first uh, Final Fantasy game to actually feature, uh, I would say, uh, 3D backgrounds, polygon characters. And I'm not going to say it was the first one to have CGI uh, cinematics. 
because I think some of that actually went on in Final Fantasy VI. Now I can't re- I can't really say for sure if it did, but I remember when I was a kid and I had uh, you know game uh, magazine. I think it was called uh, Game. Uh, it was it was something. It was super popular back then, and it was like every time you actually got another issue, there was always a, a demo disc inside that would allow you to uh, play like new demos that would actually come out for the PlayStation. Uh, it was super awesome. But I think from that one, I remember actually seeing demo discs in it. Oh, it was called Game. I think it was called Game Fan. If it wasn't Game Fan, then it was the alternative one that was. Um, similar to that, uh, but yes, uh, to actually uh, see um, uh, the, how far Final Fantasy Seven, or should I say, just Final Fantasy has come, it really did, it really did set the tone of everything else that was going to go on for the other Final Fantasy games. Of course, uh, you still had games like Tactics, which is uh, beautiful, and when they uh, you know, updated that one, there was War of the Lions, and that, to me, I, I was super excited to get that, because t- uh, Tactics was my uh, other favorite Final Fantasy game to play, because of how well done it was, and then when they re- uh, released uh, War of the Lions, I was just amazed, I was like, okay, well, I'm really uh, wondering exactly what features are going to be added in it, of course, Cloud was a feature character in that, just like how he was in the original, but they also added Balthier, and then they added the uh, character from Tactics Advance 2. And I still have Tactics Advance 2. I still have Final Fantasy XII, Revenant Wings. I haven't gotten a chance to complete those yet because I've been so busy with everything else. But I think that's pretty much all I'm actually able to talk about at the moment until we actually get more uh, information. I'm definitely going to be doing something with that meteor up there because I already got the base started for it. And... I really do uh, hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I can't. I don't know if I actually just said it or not because I'm super excited right now and I'm actually just recording this on the fly. But uh, if you enjoyed this video, definitely uh, give it a like. Uh, share it to any social media that you feel like you want to share it to. Spread the word about it. And take care of yourselves. Be safe. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.